Good day, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Dawn of Man. Uh, it came out recently uh, by Madruga Works. They actually also did a Planet Base. Really fun game. I have it play it all the time. Um, I got a good deal because I also own Planet Base, so I've seen a pretty popular Dawn of Man. So I've scooped it up and let's take a look at it. So we'll start a new game. Uh, we're going to do free play. Um, well, we'll just start on Con. Now, you can see I already did play the game. It's I really like it, actually. Um, we'll just call it Skins, uh, Location, Twisty River, Normal, Starting Conditions. I want to be a Nomad, so we're going to start our own base. Okay, so we started out here. I've actually set up a little bit of customization on some of this. You can just click to bring up a different things you want displayed. So I've set it up. Over here is my uh, time and just some emergency stuff. So right now we're uh, paused. A little group of nomads start here. I really don't know the map too well on this. I just did, I picked a random map. I see some resources here. Like we have some flint. I know we use stuff like that. We also need some rock. Uh, good to be near water. So I think I'm actually just going to start setting up right in here just to start it out. So without even unpausing, let's just go in here. We'll, um, tents, we have storage. We'll build some of this up. First thing I want to get down is a hearth. We'll build our village around this. There's not really much room here, but well, yeah, we could expand that way. We'll build the hearth right in here. Okay. And you push, uh, as it says down there, uh, Z and C to rotate it around. And I'll just keep it two away. We'll get them building two of these right away. There's one, we'll go one more. Alright, we'll get them going now. Actually, we'll just start it there. Okay, we'll get a little storage up. Uh, storage tent, wood pile, rock pile. Yeah, let's just make that now. Let me make it up here. Away from the village a little bit. You'll find with this, you do end up having to time accelerate quite a bit to get things to happen. Like most empire building games, it does go fairly slow, but just speed it up. So they're building away here. It's pre it's pretty good, uh, the the graphics and stuff on it, and the way things build up. Now there is um, uh, prehistoric creatures in here, like right here. I think uh, woolly woolly rhino. There's there is mammoths. I'm just gonna pause the game and just get a few more things set up as we do this. So now you can also build these um, work areas to kind of automate what's happening. So we're gonna try to gather sticks. So we'll just look. Oh. Okay, there's a pile of sticks way over there. Across the water, there's sticks. Ah, there's not very many sticks in our area. All right, so we're gonna have to send them over here to gather sticks. Okay, and we're gonna get two people gathering sticks. And we're also gonna make area for flint. And right here you can see the flint. I can push the Z and C to change the work area. That'll get us two right there. So I'll have one person on flint. Make another work group. Uh, hunting, we don't. Fishing, we're going to do that. Right, we'll put it there. We'll have one person fishing. There's a big pile of collectibles over here. So we'll have someone gathering. And obtain stone. This seems like a lot of stuff going on. They'll prioritize. Now the stone, we have to find little stone notes. There's one right there. Um, we can't mine these big nodes until we get uh, some tools. So we'll actually, there's one up here. We'll just take one at a time. And there's one person working on that. And I say, well, you'll end up accelerating a lot. We'll, I'll do a lot of editing as they build up stuff. I think work area is already exhausted. That guy already grabbed all the stone. Yeah, no, there's two over there. Yeah, we'll just stick it there. Get them grabbing that.
They've been gathering up the resources they need here. It's only been a minute or so. You can see it tells you down here we need four sticks, um, some dry skin. We're going to need, uh, oh, it's already exhausted. They're grabbing a lot of stone. So these skins, we're going to need a drying rack for that. We'll just go in here and we'll get one of those up really quick because we are going to need uh, skins. Um, I don't know where I really want to put it right off. And we can always move it too, so we'll just stick it there for now. And we'll accelerate ahead. There's some things we can hunt. We'll get this established before we uh, send out a little bit of a hunting party. If animals do uh, move by your camp and they're r rather weak at this stage, it's a good idea to take them. And we're gaining a lot of uh, knowledge points here as we build up. You can see them building that tent up. One hut up here. Each hut can hold uh, three uh, people. So uh, we have seven. We're going to have at least three huts, so I've placed another hut. Um, we got some boars over here. Uh, everybody's off gathering sticks. We need lots of sticks, but we also need those uh, dried skins. And we're going to be using those up for this, so I'm going to actually see... Uh, looks like they're going the other way. That's the... Run. Yeah, well... We'll keep an eye out. You can also uh, click this uh, primal vision and you can see it brings up where certain uh, resources are. The color red means it's dangerous. Green, see there's a goat or something. Ibex. So you can do that to help find the animals because they do hide in the trees and stuff. But hopefully something comes fairly close to us so we can take a poke at it. And yeah, we got some resources around here too so that's good. But that's one way to find the animals is using that primal vision. And while we're waiting for them to build up, you can go into uh, manage here and we're going to set limits for certain uh, resources we're gathering. So right now we'll just keep some of those, those all look good. We're not going to be using any of this stuff right away. Uh, we actually probably will want to grab some water. But uh, for sticks, we're just going to increase this. Let's keep about 20 sticks on hand. Skins, everything here looks pretty good. Another thing we are going to need is a crafter right here. Now the crafter you can set off to the side a little bit. We're going to fence all this stuff in later. But uh, for right now, again, we, we can always move it if we have to. I'm going to set it off a little bit. Let's rotate it that way. Once that gets built up, we can start building some tools and stuff to make this a little bit easier for harvesting. And down there by the campfire. You can see what he has on him, wooden harpoons and stuff. Cooking up some fish. So everything's going well. Let these guys build up. Up here you can see too, we're uh, just coming to the end of spring. This represents the workload right now that's happening, 71%. So it's not too bad, but we also going to need, we ran out of uh, storage. So we'll just create, we got the... Uh, a storage tent. This is where we put our crafter. So maybe it'd be a good idea to stick it out here somewhere. That's pretty close, but that's okay. And we got the uh, hide dryer up. Oh, we'll get some um, some hides here. I did look around. We don't want to mess with anything like that right now. Let's basically, have wooden spears. Uh, oh, there's some ibex there. They could be reindeer. You look, he's green. We might actually go after one of these guys in here. Where is he? Oh, he's leaving. Let's just see if we can. There, we'll hunt that guy down. We'll get some hides. So I'll speed it up and we'll see if uh, they go out and get him. They're not too far away. Okay, we have one guy going. We'll right click to get rid of those. Yeah, he's gonna go hunt that. Oh, got it. Excellent. And also you can see we can get some resources. So we're gonna get three meat, some hides, and a bone. Uh, knowledge. Okay, up here this represents your knowledge points. Because we've done enough stuff, we can uh, look at knowledge. So that basically, if we go in here, we kind of progress up so we can learn a few different things here. Um, food drying is going to be really important. 
canning is going to be important. I think I'm going to go for food drying right now. We want to be able to preserve uh, food for the winter that's coming. So I'll take that. Okay, we know we're short on storage. We're building now. And there we are, food dryer. So um, as I said, we want to kind of build this up as our residential area. Got our warehouse here, crafters. We can just stick it off back here a little bit. We can move it if we really have to. All right. I'll let those things build up. Here we got to uh, get this next house. There we go. That one's up. So one left. And that'll take care of our housing. And we just started summer, so we should be good. Just about to get that uh, crafters done. There we go. Let's just slow down a little bit. So and we got another knowledge point. So yeah, in here we can make uh, different uh, tools. So right now for knives, we can just basically use a stone. Up here for our inventory, uh, let me see, we got some wooden spears, one fishing harpoon. We don't have anything for cutting, so we will actually need flint. Good, so we'll make, and we'll make three knives to get things going. So someone will go in there and start carving those those knives. It looks like uh, it needed flint, so they'll grab the flint and start making knives. That'll be easier to uh, carve up animals and stuff. And we got some skins up. I just noticed here there's a, a reindeer or something coming through. There he is right there. Let's take him out. We're definitely going to need the skins. I don't think he'll be that strong. Is anybody going to go get them? It takes a minute to get them off task. We do have some uh, knives being made. This guy here is making knives. There we go. Oh, that was 10 uh, flint. Actually, they've already been made. Let's just watch this guy. I'm not sure. Where are they? Come on, guys. Go get them. You can also, if we click on them, and you click on the info button here, it'll bring up to tell you what resources you get off them. So, well, someone will go over and grab them when they're ready. Just uh, caught them going after him here. He, they took a, a poke at him. He has ran. They're still going after him. I think they're going to get him. Oh, they were right there. Well, he escaped. That was a... Wasted hunt. I don't think there's anything else. We use that primal. Um, yeah, we only have one raw skin left. Uh, there is an ibex over here. Maybe we will just send them over. So we are going to need the skins. I think this uh, guy's going over right away. Good, good. Hopefully you can get him. And again, we'll see if we click on the question mark. And yeah, we'll get two two skins out of him. I don't think the other animals interact. Hopefully not. He looks dangerous. He's gonna run. There we go. Got him. Perfect. So we'll let him harvest him up. I just finished up the food dryer here, so we'll be able to preserve food. We just come into fall, so we have no fish. I had to uh, move, get some more stone. Uh, up in this area. I placed a couple more fishermen. Only had one harpoon, so we've, uh, we're making another harpoon up for the fish. Um, we're kind of running into a problem where we have no uh, dry hides and uh, we can't build the storage unit up. We need three for that and, and two for that, so we're, we're kind of hurting for hides here. I did build another uh, hide uh, dryer over here. It hasn't even been built yet. I'm actually probably going to move this one over near the storage unit. It just makes more sense. But we need hide really bad, and there's really nothing around that uh, I feel comfortable going at with uh, wooden spears. There's a bear up here who's been making his way down. Um, I, that could be uh, scary. Some of the animals will attack you, so you have to kind of be careful. But we, we just have to wait for a herd of something to go through so we can uh, get the hides going. And chances are this will not be done for winter. I was looking around and I did actually find some 
uh, the ibex is up here it's, it's kind of far from our base but I think we're going to do it anyway so I'm going to tag them all because we have to kill something here even the uh, young ones I think that's it all right so we're going to let them go uh, at that and see hopefully we need the hides so I'll just speed that up and get it done hopefully before winter 171 workload wow very high And a lot of here going on because of the building that was happening and they're trying to gather stuff and there's uh, only seven of them and uh, it could be a, a child or two also I think if you go in here you look at stats yeah so there is two children all right we did get a couple of them up there I got it on four speed here but yeah we did uh, get a couple of them one did escape I think they're still chasing one so we're gonna have uh, a few more hides but again it takes a while for them to uh, dry the hide out so we'll see if they uh, oh a trader all right yeah so every once in a while a trader arrives maybe we can get some hides perfect hopefully we have enough what is this tanning okay yeah you can also buy technology kind of expensive you can see here there's a commission this guy's a cheap guy so unfortunately we, we just haven't got the money but I will buy some of these hides um, what do we have not much we can give away some flint hmm it's worth five eh actually I'm gonna give away one of those and we'll Perfect. So that'll give us two. Uh, let's take another one. Uh, we don't want to give up. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll make some more uh, stone knives up. Perfect. So now we should have enough hide to be able to uh, at least finish the, the storage, maybe. But with the other ones coming, I think we may uh, be fine. We can also prioritize here if we want. Needs one more hide, but I I'm not going to prioritize it. Look at that last ibex we got. We uh, did some of your. Um, we gathered some fruit. It's obviously decayed. That, that you don't want that to happen. It's kind of hard in the beginning. That's we've got very little resources, but we did get five more points, so we can upgrade something here. Mm -hmm. I I think I'm going to take bone tools actually. It's nice to get this so we could make uh, the tanners to make outfits and stuff, but I, I want to we'll make some bone weapons. And again, same thing for that. I don't think we have much. Uh, we have three bones. We can go in here and... Well, we need to gather fish. I'm actually going to make... Um, we need, what do we have here for knives? We still have five, so we're good there. I'm going to make a bone harpoon get rid of that one let me make two of them they got enough hides there so they did work on the storage tent which is perfect that'll help preserve a lot of the stuff a, a little bit longer so it's good we got that up they'll move food and, and skins and stuff um, I was 10 fish perfect getting more knowledge I did want to chop down some trees here but uh, you need uh, composite tools which we haven't got yet so right at the end of uh, fall they just started building that perfect so we have housing for everybody for the winter and just uh, hopefully we have enough food we have cured some of it so perfect uh, clothing you can't actually fish during the winter either so that's one thing so we can uh, basically yeah we can make an outfitters and uh, make better clothing I'm just scanning around and lo and behold we have a, a bunch of sheep up here so I'm going to uh, go be going after them we just we need all the skins and meat we can so I think that's all of them yeah and uh, no stone left now so we are running low on on stone in the area when I go to the workplace select stone okay we can't do the big nodes but there is one little node here perfect 
Um, I have looked quite a bit around here and I haven't found any, so... Right on. We got one of those sheep. Uh, there's something else running that. The, uh, an Ibex. It's also... No, those are rhinos. And we'll let them do what they need to there. A right. couple uh, new people joined the settlement that actually maxed out, uh, maxed out our capacity. Uh, we got lots of, uh, yeah, we got lots of resources now. We're actually build uh, another residence right now. Uh, people will not come unless there's enough housing, so. Um, let's see how I want to do this. I'll put it over here. We're going to move that rack. And we'll build that there. Winter is almost done. Right, we're just finishing up almost the end of winter here. We've got that last tent almost done. We have some more knowledge. We'll get right in here. Um, hmm. Flint tools would be nice. Slings would be nice too. Dogs. Oh, decision, decisions. You know, I think I may... Hmm. Uh, I think I'm taking slings. You can make slings uh, at the crafters. And uh, it takes hides. We're not going to make them now. We will be making them very soon. We're almost done for uh, winter. I'll let it run through here. Nothing is really... There we go. We get a point for surviving winter. And there we go. All the snow disappearing. So our first year... Uh, we've made it. Nobody's died. We have uh, three. Three more people can move in because of that hut we built. So let's... Uh, oh, what's this over here? Oh. Well, hopefully uh, we can get a bunch more done uh, this year. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens through this season.